how to construct npv profile and find crossover rate in excel spreadsheet we will learn in this video so let's get started here is the questions in this question we have a two project that is project a and project b both project are mutually exclusive that means these project are the capital project which are compete directly with each other right and both project have a same nco that is a net case outlay or initial investment but uh, different cash flows under the uh, project a the cash flows are different from year 1 to 5th year while under the project b the cash flow is same from first year to fifth fifth year okay and we have a firm's cost of capital which is 10 percent okay so based on these questions let's construct the npv profile and find the crossover rate okay all right so here we have a five step followed by calculation of dif differential cfat calculation of crossover rate calculating NP npv profile of both projects and constructing the npv pr profile diagram calculation of individual project irr and npv and conclusion and decision okay now you can see that i have partially done the first step which are nothing but it's a question part that is this one and this one is our question part now let's come uh, calculate the differential cfat under the first step and it can be calculated by subtracting the cash flow after tax or cfat from a to b or b to a okay both are same here i am going to subtract the cfat from a to b okay and it can be calculated by simply press press the equal to sign and now click here minus click here now press the enter key all right now click here and drag from here to here all right okay now let's move on to second step that is calculation of crossover rate okay and it can be calculated by simply using the irr function in excel so press the equal to sign now type the irr now press the tab and select the differential cfat okay from here to here all right now press the close parenthesis now press the enter key all right 13.45 percent is our crossover rate okay now let's move on to third step that is npv profile of both project and constructing the npv profile diagram all right so here first let's prepare the npv profile based on the random discount rate and calculate the net present value of the project a and project b respectively okay so first here we can see that i have you know shaded this uh, row in the center of this you know table to you know make the range of discount rate from crossover rate to down 10 and up 10 number of discount rate so first click here and now let's put the value of uh, you know crossover rate here so click here and now press the equal to send and now select this one now press the enter key all right now let's you know put the value in decreasing a scale by subtracting 2.30 percent okay and here we can see that i have you know made a seal to put the increment rate here okay so here i'm going to put the 2.30 percent okay based on this rate we will you know make the 10 number of discount rate below from this rate and 10 number of discount rate above from this rate okay so click here and now press the equal to send now click here minus this one now press the f4 key to absolute reference now press the enter key all right now click here and drag from here to up okay now let's clear the 10 number of discount rate from this rate to 10 number of discount rate in increasing a scale okay so press the equal to send now click this one now press the plus sign and then click this one now press the f4 key to absolute reference now press the enter key all right now click here and drag down okay 
Now, based on this discount rate, let's calculate the NPV profile of a project A and project B respectively. So first, let's calculate the NPV profile of a project A and it can be calculated by simply using the NPV function, okay? So press the equal sign, tap the NPV, now press the tab and let's follow this, you know, argument. So rate, so click this one to get the rate value, comma, for values, let's select the CFAT of a project A from first year to fifth year, okay? And now press the close parenthesis and now add the NCO value of a project A. So add the plus sign and now click this one now before pressing the enter key let's fix the column so i'm going to fix the column of a rate okay and fix the sale of a cfat so put the dollar sign here okay okay and now okay okay now press the enter key okay now click here and drag from left to right okay now select these two sale and drag from here to here okay now click here and uh, let's copy this you know sale by clicking on format painter and select here to here okay and now let's change this format from percentage to value by clicking on come as tab all right now let's you know prepare the npv profile diagram based on this table okay so, so click here and select from here to here okay now let's go to the insert tab and click on a scatter under the scatter diagram let's choose the you know a scatter with a smooth line okay and now click here and now and put here okay now let's design this chart quickly okay okay now let me explain this chart okay quickly so in the you know npv profile diagram x axis represents internal rate of return that is irr or discount rate and y axis represents net present value that is npv okay and the blue line represents our npv profile of a project a while the red line represents npv profile of a project b okay and uh, here when these two lines intersect each other that point is called crossover rate that is represented by 13.45% and 5654.97 uh, net present value you can see in the table as well 13.45% is our crossover rate and these are our you know NPV value and you can you know put the cursor here and see the value exact value okay all right and now here you can see that when these two line crosses or touch the x axis the touch point of each project represents irr of each project okay when npv equals to zero okay so now let's move on to the you know next step to calculate the npv irr to calculate the irr and npv of both project okay so that we can you know identify that how much irr of each project okay when the npv is zero okay so now let's move on to the next step okay here calculation of individual project of irr and, and npv so first let's calculate the irr of project a so it can be calculated by using the function of irr in excel so press the equal to sign and now type the function irr now press the tab and select the range from here to here for a project A. Now press the close parenthesis, now press the enter key. All right. Now click here and drag from left to right. Okay. We got the individual IRR that is exact same in the graph. This value touches the x axis. You can see that, right? For A, you can see this one. For B, you can see this one. But uh, we cannot, you know, identify from this graph, but uh, the value will become this one okay if you want to check whether the irr of individual project is correct or not you can you know calculate the npv the value of npv must be zero at this rate okay so first let's check this out so let's calculate the npv of the project at this rate okay so press the equal sign tap the npv function or press the tab and for rate select this one comma 
for values so we, we can select the you know cash flows from here to here now press the close parenthesis now and add the ncu value that is this one now press the enter key all right okay and now drag from here to here okay you can see the npv at this rate is zero for both project that means our calculation is absolutely right okay now let's calculate the you know individual npv at k that is at firm's cost of capital okay that is 10 percent okay so it can be calculated by simply using the npv function same as earlier so press the npv now press the tab and for rate let's select this one and now press the f4 key to absolute reference comma for values that is we have to select the you know cfat from here to here okay now press the close parenthesis now add the nco value that is this one okay and uh, press the enter key all right now click here and drag from here to here okay you can see based on the required rate of return or cost of capital of the firm we have the net present value this one okay now let's move on to the final step here, that is conclusion and decision okay here in this uh, step we can see that our decision board uh, look like this okay the decision actually the decision can be you know done by two perspective first if any one project is selected second if both project are selected okay if any one project is selected then we can you know use two method that is irr and npv okay so let's make the interpretation of this you know calculations so based on irr we can see that project b should be selected why because the higher irr should be selected from the alternative so we can see that the b has a higher irr and compare with the required rate of return so among these two alternative the higher rate is this one and this rate is greater than you know cost of capital so that the b project b should be selected okay now similarly based on the net present value we can see that project a should be selected why because the net present value of a project a is higher than net present value of a project b okay all right similarly if if both projects are selected then we can you know use the cross rate or cross npv okay so based on the cross over rate we can see that investment should be made in this project why because our you know the cross over rate that is 13.45 is greater than our cost of capital so that investment should be made similarly on the basis of you know cross over npv we can say that investment should be made in the in this project why because our NPV is positive at this rate so that investment should be made if our NPV is negative at this rate then we should not make the investment in this project okay so these are the simple and the basic comparison to make the decision regarding the investment okay and you can see that I have made this you know table dynamic by using the if function okay you can see here okay let me show you by zooming in okay you can see similarly for this one you can see similarly for this one you can see and for this one you can see all right and now guys let me tell you one thing too this sheet is totally dynamic if you will change this value from this number to any other number the value will be changed in the in the whole process okay you can see so guys uh, it's a very easy to calculate it that's all for now if you have any query regarding this uh, video please ask me in the comment box below and if you find it useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video signing off